Hey everyone. So the other day I discovered this really cool trick to remember which months of the year have 31 days and which months have 30 days, or in the case of February, either 28 or 29 days. Actually, my wife explained it to me that if you hold both of your hands together like this, uh, you'll notice that your knuckles form a series of peaks and valleys. And going from left to right, if you assign all the months in the year listed in order to each peak or valley in sequence, you'll notice an interesting pattern emerges that all the months that have 31 days fall on a peak, whereas all the months with fewer days fall within a valley. And check it out. Starting with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And it works really well. Uh, I've used it on occasion to remember uh, dates and things like that. Um, but it did bother me a little bit that you don't actually end up using the last valley and peak on your other hand. And after thinking about it for a while, I actually realized that there's another mnemonic you can use uh, that doesn't succumb to that issue, and it's based on music theory. All right, so check it out. If you consider a single octave on a piano, starting from F and going all the way up to E, and you assign all the months of the year to each of those 12 keys in that octave, you'll notice that all of the longer months will correspond to the white keys in that sequence, and all of the shorter months will correspond to the black keys in that sequence. And it works perfectly for all 12 months corresponding to all 12 keys in the octave. Now, that's really cool and everything, but it turns out there's even more patterns embedded within this system that if you look closely, you can discern a deeper meaning from them. First, consider just the first letter of each month listed in sequence. And if you consider a subset of those letters, you will be able to rearrange them and spell out the word madman. Now, if you then consider the subset of those letters which fall on the white keys, you can take those letters and rearrange them to spell out the word MDMA. Now, this is where it starts to get kind of freaky, so just buckle up, because it's going to get a little weird. If you again consider that same set of white keys that you used to spell out MDMA, you find that the names of those keys, G, A, C, and E, when you rearrange them, spell out cage. MDMA, Madman, Cage. And that's just too freaky, right? That, it, it's hard to believe. And I, I almost didn't believe it when I came up with this. But, but it is very real. I've just shown you. And it, it can mean really only one thing, that this whole time, Nicolas Cage has been trying to tell us something with his off-the-wall uh, acting and over-the-top performances behaving like an MDMA-crazed madman. He's been trying to tell us something important. That issue that I described earlier with the knuckles, where the last ridge and valley were left unused on your other hand, there are actually 14 months in the year. And Nicolas Cage has been trying to tell us this. Clearly, there's only one place where we can find the answer to where those two months went. And it's on the back of the Declaration of Independence. 